passions, desires, aspirations, feelings, emotions. Emotions. Memories. Desires. Memories. Memories. And so forth, right? Remember, there were two influences. Mm -hmm. What were they? Truth. Truth. And there. Now, none of this included your intellect. Very important point. The soul influences its two bodies. Remember I drew two bodies next to it. Yeah? The spirit body and the physical body. The spirit body has a brain. The material body has a brain. Right? When you pass, you will remember absolutely everything of your experience on earth. Absolutely every single thing. Because the information is not stored in that brain. All that brain is, is a way for your spirit form to control your material form. So, the information is stored in this brain. You follow me? It's stored in your spirit body's form. And all of your experiences get filtered through that into your soul. So the question, getting back to the question, why is it that I try my best to do a certain thing and the opposite happens? And the answer is very simple. There is an emotion or a desire or an experience or a passion inside of your soul that you do not think you have, that you actually have, that attracted that event. And it's that simple. For example? Uh, for example, let's look at uh, a lady who grows up in a bit of an abusive household and lo and behold she marries an abusive man. How many of you ladies have actually been in a relationship with an abusive man? Quite, quite a number. Okay. What's happening there is because of some injuries in her soul about unworthiness, she is attracting a person who wants to harm her. And she is willing to see that as love. You follow me? That happens here, not in the mind. In the mind, she knows she doesn't want to be beaten around, right? She knows she doesn't want to be harmed and abused. But there's an attraction occurring that has attracted her to that man who is abusing her. And that attraction is based on feelings of unworthiness, being unwanted, being unloved, and quite a number of other emotions. While she retains those emotions within her, she will continue attracting men who will abuse her. Even though in here, she's saying to herself, I don't want these guys. Why do I keep getting them? Does that make sense? But here, the attraction is still occurring because the emotion still exists. The feeling inside of her soul still exists. How many of you have walked up to a dog and it's barked at you and been really angry at you and yet another person walks past the same dog and it doesn't do anything? How many of you have noticed that? Yeah. Why does that happen? Because here you might think you're not afraid of dogs. But here, something's going on in your childhood that's created this attraction. And the dog is so sensitive to it that it will respond to it. Just in the same way as humans respond to it too. Does that make sense? That is the answer as to why. I know it's a very specific, uh, um, like small answer. We have a whole, I spend the whole sections of time, hours and hours and hours, in fact, talking to people about the laws of attraction and how what's going on here has nothing to do with what you attract. You see, many of the uh, things like, who's seen The Secret? The movie The Secret, most of you, yeah? Uh, while what, it, what it's trying to get across to people is, is truthful, it doesn't mention one of the basic truths, and that is that you cannot manufacture things with here, with your mind. You can only get through things with your soul, with this, it's the, the laws all operate upon the soul. Right? But how do you control your soul? How do you get rid of those emotions so that the door doesn't talk to you anymore? Well, I'd like to get that to a bit later if I can. Is that alright? Because uh, I want to go through the process of a bit of summary because you'll start understanding a lot of these things as we go. Especially if you don't know them. <laughs> well, the law of attraction is perfect, and this, this is another comment I'd like to make. Your law of attraction will tell you what you are ignoring in your soul. So, 
that lady who's attracted the abusive man in her life, what is she ignoring? Unworthiness. Unworthiness. Mm -hmm. And how is she getting treated? As if she is unworthy. The law of attraction is already telling her the emotion she is missing in her soul. The emotion she refuses to see. Does that make sense?